Okay, welcome today, Derek Burl Snart. We are going to get ready for our March paint. No, I'm sorry, February painting class in 2025. And I got to come up with something. And usually, you know, I think uh, last week we did a January painting, a, a barn. I think it was called Indiana Barn. Well, today, and usually, I'm, I'm going to do a beach scene. Usually in February in the Midwest, uh, people are tired of the snow, they're tired of the ice, the cold weather, they just want something nice. So we usually do a beach scene or something like that in February to give them hope that spring's right around the corner. So anyway, today, again, I kind of looked at some pictures. Um, I think we even had some pictures that we took when we went on our cruise in the Caribbean a few years ago. Um, but again, it, it's for a class that's going to be about two to three hours, so we got to make sure that we have uh, the time for them to get that painted in a couple of hours. So I try to simplify it. So I kind of have some reference, but I also mostly just have it in my head what I want. And I think I'm going to put in a, a blue sky, some clouds. Then we'll put some water coming down to maybe about right in here. Then I think we're just going to make some beach, but it's going to be those kind of hills, and then we'll put some grasses and maybe an old uh, old wood fence in here, you know, like a like a wind block fence to keep the sand from blowing, something like that. Uh, just something really, really easy, um, but at the same time, a lot of fun, and I think it'll turn out great. So if you want to get your brushes and set down paint along with us, you're more than welcome. Again, appreciate everybody watching. We had a, we had a lot of um, views right off the bat on our uh, in that first few days on our uh, barn scene. So it's always nice if you just hit the like, subscribe, and you'll see some uh, future ones. I'm going to try and at least get a painting out a week um, and see what we can do. We, I've got a few things uh, coming up, and I'll, I'll explain that here in just a little bit. All right. I've also, if you notice, uh, last time I had the thing laying flat and the lights were shining, so now I've put it up on an easel. I've, I've moved the table down, put it up on a small easel, got the lights kind of set up. I'm going to watch, and if I need, I can I can adjust the the glare, I hope, just by the camera. But, but we're going to see here. So anyway, to get started, I've taken a piece of painter's tape, as you can see here, and I've put it on their level, or, or pretty level. And how I've done that is I've just kind of went along and, and I take I just took a, a normal paintbrush, kind of put down there, found where it was, kind of came over this side and found that where that was and pretty much level. This is going to be our horizon line. Uh, one thing I do when I'm painting a beach scene is I put this in there so we can paint and then when that dries we'll peel it off and we'll have a perfect horizon so when we start painting our our ocean or our waves it'll be uh, pretty level. Now you might see a little undulation or whatever from the waves but not too bad because uh, if you don't do this a lot of times you get to paint and especially I'm painting on an angle because I'm setting over here left-handed I've got the uh, camera over here a little bit um, so if I'm not straight on a lot of times I'm painting I might be going uphill and it looks really funny when your ocean is, is going uphill or downhill all right, well, let's get started with the sky. The colors I have, and again, I use just basic, basic colors because I, I don't want to do a lot of blending, uh, sophisticated blending um, for class because I want people to be able to, again, paint pretty quickly and be able to do it right there on the canvas or, or on their palette. But So I've got a little bit of gesso. I've got some ivory black, some burnt umber, some lemon yellow. Uh, I got that diaz diazonine purple. I always like that. I've got a little ultramarine blue and a little viridian green. And also I got a little titanium white. Because um, I think we're going to take the ultramarine blue and the viridian green and maybe we can make some of our different colors in our water. We'll, we'll see how that turns out. And then with the yellows and the browns and I may have to you have to darken my green a little bit because I'm going to do some grasses or if not maybe I'll go with a, a, a 
different green, maybe a emerald green or a hooker's green or something like that. But we'll see. I think I can kind of darken it up as we go. All right, so let's just get started. Again, I got the, the, the hake brush. I dip it in a little bit of water over here off camera, and then I kind of dry it out here. I don't want it really wet. All right, so I'm going to go right into that gesso. And again, the gesso is just kind of a creamy white. I, I kind of um, equate it to the magic white. But I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Not a lot, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to blend it. I don't really know what I, what I want yet. So, and you can cover it all, but it doesn't really matter because it's all going to be pretty much the same color. Okay. And if you feel like you got a little bit too much on there, you can always take, take a towel and you can wipe some of it off, but I'm just kind of taking it off my brush here. I do have a speck there. I don't like Let's well do it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think the last time I told you my hate brush was, it was uh, really shedding and it is. Okay, let's go right into that ultramarine blue, and let's just see what we got. And we'll get it on there. Don't worry a lot yet. We'll, we'll, let's just get it on there. And see, I did get it a little bit wet, which... That's alright. We'll, we'll paint over it um, another coat, I think. But I just don't, don't care for getting it a little wet. But... Don't worry about it. Just like I said, we just want to get some paint on there and go from there. I may uh, put a little bit more blue on here and just get that in there. Well, I think I had a little too much water in my uh, paint brush. I didn't get it all all the water out. I don't like a lot of water when I'm in, at the time because what happens is the water seems to break down. Uh, the paint doesn't allow it to stick to the canvas as well, in my opinion. And, well, I mean, in my, I shouldn't say my opinion, in my experience is, I'm just going to get a pointer here. So, this, of course, when it comes off, that'll be the horizon line for our uh, water line. And we'll probably bring it we, we, from about there to maybe just about there and that'll be our that'll be our ocean that you'll see and we'll put some little waves in there but then all of this I want to be uh, just beach and I want some grasses coming through here and then I want an old an old uh, fence uh, like a wood picket type fence and I don't know how many pickets we'll put in there probably not a lot we'll, we'll, we'll say it's kind of old and beat up and and uh, it's been around a long time and then then we'll use our uh, uh, script liner brush and maybe put in some grasses at the end. Maybe even a little path through here. I don't know yet. Uh, I... Alright, so through the magic of television, the sky is now dry. Um, while you were away, you probably didn't know you were away, I uh, used the blow dryer just to speed the process up. So you didn't have to sit here and, again, literally watch paint dry. So, got that on there, and I kind of adjusted some of my lights a little bit. I'm trying to get some of the glare off, but... I'm going to I'm gonna figure this glare thing out before... Maybe, hopefully, before the next one. Um, okay, so I got that. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in, and like I said, this is pretty dry. I'm going to go in... Oh, what I have here is what they call a filbert brush. You can see that it kind of curves around. And I have a couple of them here. Um, and what I do a lot of times on my brushes, let me get off camera here just a second, is um, like let's say a brush, like a flat brush like this. Uh, once it starts wearing out on me um, and doesn't kind of keep its shape as much, then I'll use it. And this is what a filbert brush is for. Just rub it in like when I'm doing clouds or even mist. And after a while, <laughs> these bristles will wear, wear around and you'll have yourself a filbert brush. So you can uh, recycle. Don't just throw those brushes away. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go right in. I'm going to go into my white, my titanium white. 
and I just kind of load, load it on there like this. And then I'm just going to come in here and just turn and push, turn and push, and just keep the keep the pain on there. Just keep the pain on there and just keep going. Don't worry if it comes through. Um, we'll probably we'll put layers on this. Um, just kind of showing you how to do the clouds and just kind of blend them. Just kind of make them look naturally floating there. And as you come down, just keep that same, still got that same old loaded brush. Don't rub too much because even though the paint is dry, it will, it will start rubbing through your, your canvas and then you'll have a bare spot there. And then I added a little bit more and then I'm going to push up. And if you want, um, you can keep adding layer after layer, but if you want, take you um, just a dry brush, and then just lightly, and that'll take that'll take those uh, swirl marks out for you. All right. So right now, what I want to do is I'm just going to take my tape. I got it on here. And I'm just going to come across, take that off. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you want, you can let this dry really good. Then you can take the tape and kind of put there. Ah, or you can get it all over in the paint. So, if you want, you can come just right here. Just where it's still just showing a little bit of that blue. And what I do is I just press here, but not hard, just, just right there. See, rest that's just, it's not even on there. All right, so now I'm going to go back with that hake brush. Um, and let's see here. I want to, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know what I want to do yet. All right. Uh, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this, uh, like, number 10 uh, flat brush. And I'm going to take some of that blue, that, and I'm going to put it over here on my canvas. Then I'm going to take some of that Viridian Green. And, but more on the blue side. More on the, on the blue side, I think. Almost like right here looks the same color as up here, or even a little darker. Maybe I hope. Hopefully, when I edit this, it'll it'll look a lot better. Okay, and now let's pull this off. Looky there, perfect horizon. Now I'm going to take um, a little bit of that, just my titanium white. And I'm going to load the brush, Just I, I load it like this, back and forth, get a little edge. Then I'm just going to kind of come up here, um, let's see, just kind of come across. You know, don't, don't make like one continuous straight line. Just kind of come along, kind of wave them a little bit. But you see, we're just, just kind of come along here. Okay. I'm going to take, and like I said, I hope you guys can see all that real well. Hopefully when I edit, it'll show up a little better. Okay, now let's figure out where I want my shoreline. And I think what I'm going to do is put it right here. I'm just, oh, I'm, I'm using just a burnt umber. Uh, just loading the brush, just like that, and then just kind of finding my 
I think I kind of want it to come down here. And again, we're just getting some color on there right now. But I'll tell you what, we might have, the way that's looking, we might have went right from like first grade. We may, we may be up there in fifth grade right now, maybe sixth, I don't know. But it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. Now, I know you're like, huh? But it'll come together, I promise. I promise. there kind of got a little big on me too but that's all right that's all right um and let's put another one here so it used to have a lot more and maybe some netting in there but it's it's gone um, most of the fence has fallen down Maybe something like that. Maybe this one's a little bit taller. Maybe this one's a little bit wider. Like that. How's that look? I think that looks all right. We'll just leave that. Let's go back that purple. We'll go a little bit of brown. A little bit of black. Mix that up. And then let's just kind of go. put us a couple little birds up in the sky and if you noticed up there earlier while we were kind of in fast forward we put some what we call the silver lining in the clouds basically it was just a titanium white with a script liner brush we just kind of highlighted the the clouds kind of make them stick out a little bit now we're just putting in a couple three birds don't know what they are seagulls whatever you want them to be they're kind of flying around out there don't know if this is a, a fall day, uh, early spring. 
don't know. Don't don't really care. It's just kind of a peaceful place to be. Really hope you enjoyed this painting today. I had a lot of fun painting it, even though I said earlier I'm not a beach person. I don't even care to paint beaches. They're kind of like painting flowers to me. But anyway, I know a lot of people enjoy them, and I enjoy painting for people, and that's what it's all about. So you could put as many birds in here. You could actually go back and put as much detail in here as you want. You can uh, add more grasses. You can add some more posts. You can make it look like a, a really nice wind fence. But all I'm doing right now is just kind of making it so that we can do it in, you know, just a couple of three hours. So I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this and and that you, if you want to paint along, paint along. If you want a lot more uh, instruction on how we did different things, come to the class and uh, I know you'll enjoy it. As you can see here, I'm just putting some little highlights on my, on my waves. Again, you can put a lot more waves in there. You can make them look a lot better, a, a lot more realistic. You could put a palm tree if you wanted. I really don't know that this is a palm tree type beach. Kind of looks more like a beach that you'd find up in the northeast or something. But anyway, I'm hoping that this uh, will be a lot of fun for everyone. So thank you, and I hope that you uh, will tune in next time. If you like, please hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll bring a lot more of these. Just let me know in the comments, too, if you feel like there's something you want me to paint, and I'll be happy to paint it. So thank you. Thank you for coming along with me while I figured this one out, and have a great day.